What's going on, my Super Saiyan Paul here, back at it once again, joined by Fatal Brotherhood. Hi, guys. And today we're going to be talking about Dragon Ball Super and some of the titles that have been leaked and how far we're going to be going into this series. Now, according to the titles, I think around episode 38 is when Hit enters the field, but for now, as of right now when we're recording this video, the fighters that are left are Vegeta and Manaka versus four of the Universe 6 warriors, and that's everyone except for Bo Tamo. Now, the way it seems like it's going to go is that Vegeta is the one that's going to one-man army it all the way to Hit. Now, we did see in the preview that Hit was going to jump in the fight with Frost, so technically it's like maybe two and a half fighters because Frost is kind of weak. But um, the way it seems, it's like I think Vegeta's going to get all the way up to Hit, and there's a chance he might lose. What do you think, Sean? Yeah, it would make sense that Vegeta loses the fight because they have to make Universe 6 team at least look strong because Frost has been cheating these last two wins. So, and apparently yeah, they changed up the barrier rules. Like if you touch the the barrier outside of the ring or anything, you yeah. lose now too. So they increased the ring out range. Really? Yeah, that's what I heard. Wow. So that's what the square dome is around I'm, it. I'm not sure if it was the square dome or if you touch the atmosphere dome. Oh, because that wasn't really descriptive enough. But that's what it seems like. So predictions are Vegeta's gonna one man army it all the way to hit, and then he's gonna lose. Then we're gonna see Monaka jump in. And this is where things are going to get interesting because we're going to see if Monaka has a transformation or if he's really strong in his base form or what. Or if he can get angry. Because a lot of people, including myself, are very suspicious about this. I mean, one of the, th the <coughs> wow, one of the theories that I had about him was that there's a chance Beerus only used him to get Goku and Vegeta hyped to train up again. You That's never know. That's true. That could have happened. But I feel like Beerus wouldn't lie about his ace. Like, he was so, like determined to get Monaka on his team and make sure that he was the last one to fight. That was the thing, but him being the last one to fight. If Goku and Vegeta were that strong after so much training, and Monaka is supposed to be in like between Beerus and them, how far is that power gap really? That's true, because Beerus like was really pissed as after Goku lost. He could have just let uh, Monaka just take everything, but he was really pissed that Goku lost one round. And that's the thing, if Monaka is really this powerful, some people are saying Frost was as weak as Cell because if Piccolo could jump into this fight and stuff like that. The power scalings, you guys have to mind this, are everywhere. Because if you guys do realize, if Goku went Super Saiyan, you don't really know how strong his Super Saiyan form is anymore. Because he went Super Saiyan against Beerus after absorbing God Key, and this guy was a monster. Now that they've been engulfed in God Key, both Goku and Vegeta, the scaling for the power of the enemies, we don't know how strong they really are. And it was because of Piccolo they threw everything off. So maybe Piccolo is insanely strong and all the power levels are scaled up. Or they're really, really toying around. And that's what's causing everybody else to catch up and make it an even fight. This turned into one punch, man. I don't know who the fuck is strong anymore. The, the power scaling is all fucked up. No one knows. Piccolo I still think is strong. So I think he's at least number three compared to Goku and Vegeta. Gohan we still don't know yet, but Piccolo is like number three. He can definitely win. In Piccolo's defense, the thing that they brought up that really, really helped him out was the fact that not only does he still have the strategies minus the fact that Frost cheated, but he broke a god's atmosphere. Or, or god, well, not god's assistance atmosphere. Vosphere. Technically, because yeah. he broke that with his special beam cannon. Imagine how much more powerful he is now than ever, and how powerful that barrier has to be. I wish Goku would like launch a Kamehameha or something at it to see how strong it really is. In comparison, because I'm pretty do sure... Another, do another test, like when he punched Krillin. Or Monaka, yeah. Punch oh, yeah. one of them. Or like, you know when Krillin threw the rock at Goku's head when he was sleeping? He's like, wow, yeah. he, he's so in tune with nature and his abilities. He should be able to take this rock to his attention, me. <laughs> but those are the things that I see here. Now, if Monaka was to say really, really get his ass whooped by hit, because we don't know how strong this guy is. We're about to see in the next episode a glimpse of... Of his power in episode 35 i believe and this guy has some serious telekinesis or something or like he was about to freeze frost frost that I, that, that pun right yeah, there yeah he was about to freeze frost ironically <laughs> very very weird i really think that if monaka loses like what if he doesn't even have any abilities at all what if hit just knocks him out and then everyone loses what's gonna happen yeah that's the thing like what if he has no abilities because i want him to have abilities because not only will that be good for the show and be entertaining but it's gonna be great for the video games don't get me wrong. However, if you noticed, Hit has a very, very strong sense of awareness, and I really, really wouldn't even count him as being a bluffer because he was one of the three people there that 
noticed Frost was cheating, and he did it with his eyes closed for most of the match. He noticed it faster than Vegeta did, he noticed it faster than Jocko did. Vegeta is a skilled fighter. Closed. That says a lot. With his eyes closed for the duration of the match. We don't know if they have any previous history or anything like that, but for him to be able to detect that over Vegeta, who's constantly scanning his opponents, and Jocko, that's very, very weird. And Jocko had to move seats and everything. Vegeta only had a hint of it. Hit knew immediately. He knew automatically with that look in his eye. That's what I'm wondering. What is Hit's goal? He's gonna go. He's getting into the ring to fight Frost because his attack is going towards Frost in that preview. So is he gonna kill Frost or is he trying to help him? I don't see want Frost to be dead for cheating like that. Even though technically, it's not really. Su I don't view it as super cheating because it's part of his body. But it's not part of his body. But it's dope. He had modifications to it. Oh, it was a modification? That's oh. what uh, the judge said. Oh, well, I mean, I thought you said he, he produces the venom. Never mind then. But, um. Frost was just like, this is not part of. This is not uh, an attachment. It's my arm. And the judge was like, no, this is some modification shit to your arm, man. This is a disqualification right here. The subtitles are weird for these episodes. But, yeah. Um, on top of that, let's say he kills Frost, right? Who's going to steal this wish? I think. Someone's gonna steal the wish. There's gotta be an overall enemy here, because it feels like it's going into a dark area now, with all the players slowly being cut off. Frost was already revealed to be the bad guy. Hit, we still don't know yet what his true goals are, but I feel like something's gonna happen here that's gonna take away the wish, or someone's gonna betray someone else on this field. Or maybe Beerus is gonna die. With that much power at stake here, because the wish can do anything, yeah. it's very, very dangerous. That's the whole premise of the show, and people are saying that the show is going at a really fast pace, which I don't necessarily mind to an extent. I wish the battles were more fleshed out slightly, less talking, more action. More details in the fight. More details in some of the animation, because Frost in some frames, he just looks completely flat out plain. Completely. But if the Dragon, the Dragon Balls in this universe aren't compromised, there are still other universes out there with parallel Dragon Balls, like every two universes that are connected with Dragon Balls, and they still hold a risk to what's going to happen here. And You never know if they have to go and jump into those universes and stop whoever from getting the Dragon Balls. Even if they steal at least one from each universe, that'll stop everyone from having this unlimited power. That's true. Maybe Kaba will actually be the one to steal it, just to stop everyone from being evil and stuff. Because he doesn't trust Champa, he doesn't trust Beerus, the gods of destruction. Bulma doesn't trust Beerus, so maybe she has something up her sleeve. Or Oolong jumps in and steals the wish. Does another steal wish. <laughs> that would be so awesome if Oolong just jumps in and just kills the wish. That would be awesome. Yeah. Throwback it's to your A replay. huge throwback, that would be epic. Oh man, but you guys tell us what you guys think in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like and favorite the video. Please make sure you guys also comment and tell us what you guys think. Do you think the power scalings are weird? Do you think Manaka's really a scapegoat or is he going to transform? Do you think Hit is good or evil? What's going to happen with the Super Dragon Balls? And will anything else unexpected happen? Oh, one more thing. When Manaka, If Manaka does transform, do you want it to be super brawlic, like ripped out steroid looking? Or do you want it to get lean like beers? Which would you prefer? Some people were showing the comparison with Janemba. Like how Janemba was like a bulgy up yeah. version of Majin Buu type of thing. And then he turned into a lean monster. But that wasn't the canon thing. But yeah, it wasn't still. canon. But it's just like, which look would you prefer? Because Manaka could even go, when he transforms, like super brawl. Or would he stay the same? Because if he stays the same, he doesn't look that intimidating. Not at all. Every other fighter looks more intimidating than this guy. Maybe his boobs go flat and all of the, the uh, extra energy just goes everywhere else. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know. I won't put it past Akira Toyama at this point. I would not. I would not. Anyway, guys, we'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace! Peace.